Welcome back, viewers! How to Gain Weight Healthfully for Skinny Females While losing weight is many women's goals, some want to do the opposite, gain weight. A healthy addition of muscle to your skinny physique will transform your appearance and health. Today, we will be talking about how to gain weight through a muscle-building diet that's specifically designed for naturally skinny females. It's a bulking diet that allows you to put on lean weight while still making the scale move up. For beginners, it might be overwhelming. How many calories should you consume? What foods are rich in protein? Learn more about these and so much more in this video, so make sure to continue watching until the very end. Number 1. Calories and Weight Gain When gaining weight, you must be in a calorie surplus. Meanwhile, when you consume fewer calories than your body needs, your body is compelled to use up stored energy, i.e. fat and muscle, to get the energy it needs. This then results in weight loss. But when you consume more calories than your body needs, your body has additional energy and that energy can be stored. Under normal conditions, women gain around 60 to 70% of that weight as fat. For instance, if you gain 20 pounds while having a regular diet and doing regular exercise, then you'll put on about 7 pounds of muscle and 13 pounds of fat. In the end, you'll become stronger and more muscular. This explains why overweight females typically have such strong bodies. But going back, our goal is to build lean muscles. Number 2. Eat big, yes. But first off, lift big. In addition to nutrition, it's just as important to pay attention to your muscles. To start, you should prepare your body for muscle growth by lifting weights. You have two main options, including signing up at a gym or doing lifting at home with some adjustable dumbbells. Don't worry, you don't need fancy equipment if you choose option 2. What you need to do, however, is to lift. When it comes to building muscle, weightlifting is the best. Number 3. Ways to Quickly Gain Weight Now that we've covered weightlifting, the next thing you should consider is how fast you should be gaining weight. Managing the extra calories you consume is a must so you can control how quickly you gain pounds. Next to lifting weights, the rate of your weight gain is the biggest marker of how lean your muscle gains will be. Again, the goal here is to provide extra nutrients to your body, enough to build muscle, but not so much that those extra nutrients are stored as body fat. Three factors will affect your rate of weight gain. These are your genetics, experience level, and how good your lifting program is. But for average, naturally skinny women who are only starting weightlifting, ideally, you should gain about 0.25 to 0.75 pounds per week. If your weight gain is lesser than that, then boost your calorie intake. On the other hand, if your weight gain goes beyond that, then reduce your calorie intake. In general, it takes around 3,500 to put on a pound of body weight. Thus, you need to eat around 250 additional calories every day to gain 0.5 pounds per week. Keep in mind that you'll also be burning calories when lifting weights and your metabolism will likely accelerate a little as you ease into this bulking diet. As such, you'll likely need to eat more extra calories than that. Method 1. Adding Calories For this method, we assume you're consuming enough calories to maintain your body weight. So, the next thing you should do is to add extra calories on top. As we've mentioned, gaining half a pound weekly requires around 1,750 extra calories weekly. Therefore, if your aim is to gain half a pound per week, then simply eat an extra 200 to 300 calories per day. This method is simple and effective. However, it only works if you're already following a consistent diet. In addition, consistent meals and serving sizes are of paramount importance. If you have a snack between breakfast and lunch, but later it causes you to eat a smaller dinner, then this technique won't work. You must keep your diet consistent, adding in calories on top of that. Method 2. Tracking Calories This option is best if you want to create a bulking diet from scratch. For many, counting calories every day isn't a sustainable approach. Moreover, calorie algorithms can get complicated since it involves many factors. Luckily, you can still build muscle and gain weight. For naturally thin women, eating a balanced diet with a moderate protein intake and doing about 3 hours of weight training per week. This calorie intake should bring you closer to your maintenance calorie needs. Maintenance calories, weight in pounds times 13. Next, do some changes to your lifestyle. 
Number one, if your routine is waking up, driving to work, and sitting at a desk all day, decrease the multiplier 13 by one so it's 12. Number two, for each additional hour of relatively intense exercise you do during the week, in addition to your bulking workouts, add an extra one to the multiplier. This includes sports and other activities and excludes low intensity things like yoga or casually biking to work. For instance, if you play two soccer games each week, each of which lasts for an hour, make your multiplier 15. Metabolism is different for each person, and odds are you already know whether yours is smaller or larger than average. If the number is too off, feel free to adjust it up or down a further 10%. As a naturally skinny woman, you may need to eat a little more than most people. Finally, you just need to add in the calorie surplus. Like method one, this means adding 200 to 300 calories per day on top of your maintenance calorie needs. Examples of adding calories. Number one, increase three meals by 100 calories each. You can do this by adding a small glass of milk to your meals. Liquid calories are usually easier on the appetite, so this should be achievable. Before we move on, a like would be awesome. Number two, incorporate a couple of 150 calorie snacks. Snacks are good because you can eat more and they allow you to keep your main meals reasonably sized. You don't need to go fancy. A homemade protein bar split in half, a whey protein shake, a couple pieces of fruit, or a handful of trail mix are enough. Number three, add in a fourth or fifth meal. Perhaps a small fruit or protein smoothie, a homemade protein bar, or some muesli cereal with frozen berries and milk. These options are easy to prepare, not to mention consume. Best of all, they're rich in fiber, are extremely nutritious, and contain enough protein to spike muscle protein synthesis. Number four, have more dessert. If your diet is already high in protein and made up of mostly whole foods, you can add a 250 calorie dessert after dinner. It's even better if you make it yourself. Required protein consumption. Weight training drives your body to build muscle. If you have a calorie surplus, it will give enough energy to your body to gain weight. Plus, consuming enough protein will provide your body the building blocks it needs to develop new muscle tissue. In short, muscle growth equals lift enough weight plus eat enough calories plus eat enough protein. Amount of protein necessary per day. Some new studies reveal that there's a potential muscle building benefit to consuming as much as 1.5 grams per pound body weight. But most research shows that muscle is built optimally with around 0.8 to 1 gram per pound body weight. Odds are that's more than you eat right now. The truth is, it's a relatively modest protein intake compared to what most fitness models eat. Thankfully, there are a plethora of great protein sources including chicken, fish, milk, yogurt, eggs, beans, red meat, grains, cottage cheese, soy, pea protein powder, peas. So eating enough protein should be easy, especially if your diet has no restrictions. But if you have restrictions or eating enough protein is still hard, we recommend getting some protein powder. Whey protein, for instance, is fantastic for muscle building and is pretty nutritious. Amount of protein per meal. The most important thing is to achieve your overall daily protein goal. Nevertheless, splitting up your protein intake over the course of the day is also okay. Ideally, you should have at least 20 grams of protein every meal, and you should be eating at least three meals per day. For instance, if you weigh 130 pounds, then your daily intake could be 30 grams of protein at breakfast, 30 grams at lunch, 40 grams at dinner, and a whey protein shake as a snack. This is a fairly classic way of structuring a bulking diet. What do you think about this video? Drop your comments and thoughts below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out. Both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.